Hello everyone, my name is Ravindra and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are seeing how to add or remove the security role of a user by using Power Automate Flow. So without wasting too much time, let's go to make.powerapps and let's start to create the Power Automate Flow. Friends, I am using a new designer. Okay, you can turn off and use the classic one as well. Okay, so first I re name name my flow as a security role add and remove and then added a manually trigger flow okay so our first action to take the user's information okay so each user having the specific security um uh, gid code okay that code we need okay so that's why purpose we use your list list rows action of data verse okay so if you so we have this one okay so i selected in the list row action we have to select the user table and then we get and in the select columns we only need the three names okay that one is the first name last name and internal email address in filter rows i using my one okay so here I provided my email address in the show all button. Okay, here click on that. You will see the three parameters: expand query, skip token, pagination ID. So we not need skip token and pagination ID. We need the expand query. So let's I paste the expand query here. Okay, uh, friends, if you need the complete information of this um, thing, okay. So for that purpose, you can visit to my blog as well. Okay, how to assign security role to user by using Power Automate. And also, friends, at the bottom, I also add a related one more block. Okay, find the security role of user by using Power Automate. So by using this, you can find the security role of the user. And also, YouTube video is also available, so you can watch. Okay. So this is done. Okay, let's rename this action. Okay, list row user information. Okay. Then let's click on add action. Okay. So we need the security role uh, GUID as well, okay, to identify which secret role we have to give to the user. So that's why purpose. One more time, we will use row list row action here, okay. So we are getting okay list row action. We are getting. So friends, let's rename this action as well, okay. So I renaming this as the list row security role ID, okay. And in the table, let's I select the table here, okay. So in this case, table name is security roles. Okay. So I selected the security roles. Now we need the column name. Okay. So we need only name column, not too much. So that's why using here the name column. Lots of columns are present. Okay. So that's why uh, we use their select column. If you know in data words, lots of unwanted columns are present. So try to use the select action here. Okay. Then uh, let's save my flow here okay and run this action here okay let's see uh, we are getting some error or not our flow is running successfully or not okay okay so our flow is ready to go let's click on the test manually click on the test here run a flow click on done so both the actions is run successfully okay let's see the output what output we are getting okay input let's scroll it down click on show output so in the show output in the body section in the value we are getting the this role id here okay so this is the role id that we need to assign the user's role okay and this is a system id okay that we need okay for the to identify which user we have to give the role okay this is a guid type hashtag you can be see and this is also guid type so let's i cross this okay so we need these two information so for that purpose uh let's i click on the edit action and add here they go to the data operations in the data operation compose okay so let's rename compose action here okay I'm giving the row ID name, okay? So you can easily identify. And in the input, I will go to um, here, power FX, okay? 
in the power fx i will type first okay why typing the first okay because our values are present in the array if you know okay in my last video to find the security role okay we are used the apply to each action so one user also commented in our, our video okay can we do by without using apply to each so this is the method you can use the first last uh, this type of function so it will give you the single record okay so now we need to use the uh, square bracket and tackle that record okay so that's our purpose let's i give the system user id that we need to fetch so that's why i given here and click on here add let's I add in the comment as well so you can be see this entire formula okay so let's i go click on the add notes and save it now let's use one more compose action here in the compose action now we need the role security id okay so that's our purpose follow the same one okay we will type here first after first let's open and close in bracket let's go to dynamic content and gives here security role id okay and then let's give the question mark square bracket single codes and we need this one okay o data id so let's say simply paste it here okay o data dot id and click on the add here okay here i done small mistake okay instead of this list row security id okay we need to select the second one okay let's i scroll it down and we need to use this one and let's click on the update and let's rename this okay with the name of relate with you can name according to your standards okay and let's add the comment note here okay so you can be see this code and friends this code is available on the github as well okay link is available in the description box of both the blocks as well as the flow you can be download it from there okay so now uh, we need to relate this security role okay to specific user so before that okay uh, in the list rows okay we apply filter rows as well okay that is concern only so we need to relate this row so that's our purpose we use the relate action of data word so basically what this action does okay relate okay so we find the relate action okay so if you have the uh, relationship with any other table okay so in that case this relate row action we are using here okay nothing apart from that okay uh, so we have to use our user table okay so let's i type here one more time you the at the bottom we get that then we need the row id okay so let's i click on dynamic content and here we have the row id let's give the relationship name that is let's type here security role system role association okay and we have to relate with the this one row id oh sorry relate with so let's i save this flow okay and i also opening my one more previous flow it still saving okay to check what role is present to me okay we can check that by the admin center as well but uh, let's we go with the power automate So flow is save over okay so let's click on the test manually i will hold it okay for a second my license is also expired now let's i go to my environment and we are checking the check security role flow okay let's i click on the run click on the run flow it is run successfully and let's see the history of this flow okay in the details it should 
seven seconds I go. Now I have the app open a role as well. Okay. So let's I go. And in the join action. I should have the three ones. Okay. System and basic user. Okay. So these two roles I have. Let's run this flow. Okay. And uh, let's see uh, the new role is added or not. Okay. So now I, I should get one more role. Okay. That is app opener. Once our flow is run successfully. Okay. So our flow is run successfully. Let's run this flow one more time. Okay. Advanced. Resubmit. Yes. Okay. The join action. Let's I click on the join. Okay. okay. So if you see, I have system administrator, basic user, and app opener role. Okay. So our flow is running successfully. Let's remove this role. Okay. For removing purpose, okay, we have to remove the relationship. Okay. So for that purpose, we use un relate action. Okay. Of data verse. Let's I click on the add. We have to follow the same steps. Okay. I will type here users. Okay. Then row ID is same as our. Then here we have to type security row system association. Okay. And unrelate with the same one. Okay. So let's I select here the same one that is relate with. Okay. Same UID we have to pass okay for unrelated as well. Let's I click on save okay and let's run the flow one more time. Manually trigger test run a flow done. Okay, our flows run successfully okay. Let's see my secret role is removed or not. Okay. So I resubmitting the secret role check flow. Okay. So it is run successfully. And let's see what roles I have currently. Currently, I have the only two roles. Okay. System asset and basic use. That's all, friends, um, about this. Keep learning, keep growing, keep exploring. If you have any doubt, any question, just let me know in the comment box. I will try to help you out. Thank you.